All right, I'm just going to kind of quickly go over this one so you guys can understand. Well, basically, guys, when you're given any of this piece of information, yeah, all we need to find is h and k, which, hey, were given to us, and we need to figure out r. So I'm going to graph this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's my center. Now, again, remember tangent from your geometry days. Tangent means it touches the y-axis at exactly one point. So it's going to touch at that point, because if it touched at any other point, it would cross it again, right? So the direct path to it is going to be your tangent. Doesn't really care what the, gra what the circle looks like, because we know the distance from the center to the y-axis is the radius, because that has to be a circle has uh, equidistant. Um, Huh? We don't know that actually we're not. One, two, three. The circle actually. Well, I know my graph is wrong, OK? My, my circle is distorted. So anyways, we know our r, though. Does that help us now? Yes. So now we can write this as uh, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 3 squared, which is 9. Right? because you square the r.